let's simplify this rational expression. I'm going to go ahead and take a step and rearrange the order of the terms in the numerator, just so you can see what happens. In the numerator, I have negative x plus 7, just rearranging the order of the terms. By doing so, I hope you can see that the numerator binomial and the denominator binomial, they are opposites of each other. And because they are opposites of each other, this rational expression does simplify to negative 1. Now, if you don't see that, let's take a step and let's choose numerator or denominator. It makes no difference. I'll choose the numerator, and I will factor negative 1 from the two terms in the numerator. Negative x divided by negative 1, that's positive x, or simply x. And then a positive 7 divided by negative 1, that's negative 7, and I'll write minus 7. Now, I have not changed the numerator. Notice by using the distributive property, negative 1 times x, that's negative x, and then negative 1 times negative 7, that is positive 7. So I haven't changed it, but now look, I have a factor of x minus 7 in the numerator, a factor of x minus 7 in the denominator, so this is essentially negative 1 times Remember, this would be then 1, as long as the denominator is not 0. So I have negative 1 times 1, which is negative 1. These factors then divide out, and this does simplify to negative 1.